Voyager 1 is one of the marvels of human technology. Launched on September 5, 1977, the spacecraft has been working tirelessly for the past 45 years. Isn't that unimaginable? In the past 45 years, it has crossed Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, and even escaped the Sun's influence to enter interstellar space on August 25, 2012, making it the first spacecraft to do so. As of January 2024, Voyager 1 was at a distance of 163 AU or astronomical unit from Earth, well beyond the orbit of Pluto, which is a mere 39.5 AU from the Sun. For reference, the distance between the Sun and Earth is 1 AU. Voyager 1 is so far that it takes approximately 22 hours for a command from Earth to reach the spacecraft. At that distance, it is the farthest human-made object ever made. Commands are sent to the spacecraft, and data received from it through NASA's Deep Space Network. But NASA received some strange signal from this spacecraft in September of 2023 which sent the entire scientist community in shock. What were these signals? And what is Voyager 1 doing now? Let's find out. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Five interstellar probes, that is spacecraft which have enough velocity to leave our solar system, have been launched so far. Voyagers 1 and 2 and Pioneer 10 have already gone interstellar, while Pioneer 11, and the New Horizon spacecraft, whose primary mission was to study Pluto, are on their way to cross the Sun's influence in the near future. Coming back to Voyager 1, it has many firsts to its name. It is the first satellite to provide detailed images of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. Voyager 1 also gave us the first and only family portrait of our solar system so far. Voyager 1 also carries on board a golden record, a gold-plated audiovisual disc which contains pictures and sounds from our planet, in case an extraterrestrial civilization encounters the spacecraft. The record was made by a team which included the late Carl Sagan, the famous American astronomer and science communicator. It consists of various photos from Earth, and sounds of a baby crying, waves crashing on the shore, sounds of whales, and a collection of music spanning different eras. The record was an attempt to connect with other life forms, if any exist, in our vast universe, and show them that we come in peace. Voyager 1 sends its data in binary format, that is, in zeros and ones. In September 2023, it started sending some weird data, which initially got scientists excited, as they thought it could be signaling something uncanny, maybe signals from some faraway aliens. But later, the scientists found out that it's just rubbish data that Voyager 1 was sending because one of its parts had gone haywire. Effectively, the call between the spacecraft and the Earth was still connected, but Voyager's voice was replaced with a monotonous dial tone, the engineering team said. The team tried updating the software too in October, but the issue stands unresolved. It's not that glitches have never occurred in Voyager 1 before. After all, it has been working since the past 45 years, and many problems have come and have been resolved by the long-standing Voyager 1 team. But the problem that occurred in September last year was one of its kind, so much so that the team hasn't yet been able to identify what the problem actually is, almost five months after the problem surfaced. Finally on December 12, 2023, NASA declared that Voyager 1 is unable to send useful scientific data due to issues in its subsystems. So is it time to say goodbye to Voyager 1? Well, the Voyager 1 team refuses to give up. They continue trying passionately to bring their dear Voyager 1 back in proper shape. What keeps them going is that they have still not run out of ideas, and that, is enough to give them hope. But even if Voyager 1 does go silent, it would have far exceeded its mission expectations. And let's not forget, its twin, Voyager 2, 
is still going strong and continues the voyage. On a side note, even if this glitch had not happened, scientists were ready to put Voyager 1 to rest in 2025 when its electric power source would have been finally used up. Now, you might be wondering, what power source can continue supplying power for 45 long years? The spacecraft surely can't carry 45 years worth of fuel. Well, the electric power source on board Voyager 1 is a kind of a nuclear battery. Scientists estimate that finally in 2025 the nuclear battery would no longer be able to provide power to the spacecraft for its functioning. So will Voyager 1 be able to live its full life until 2025, or will its extended mission stop short now itself due to the technical glitch? Let's hope the Voyager team is able to bring back their beloved spacecraft back in action, and it continues to amaze us with what it encounters beyond the cold icy boundaries of our solar system. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.